Hey guys, hope you all doing great. Today's recipe is my kids' favorite, and that's red velvet cupcakes with super delicious cream cheese frosting. This red velvet cupcakes I specially prepared for them on Valentine's Day, and my kids loved every bite of it. So let's see how to prepare this cuties. So these are the ingredients required for baking red velvet cupcakes. Make sure keep ready all the ingredients before you start the recipe so it becomes easy and you avoid any mess around on the countertop. So in a, a sieve add 1 plus quarter cups of all purpose flour, 2 teaspoon of corn flour, 2 tablespoon of cocoa powder. Half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Sift all the dry ingredients and keep it aside. To get soft and moist uh, red velvet cupcakes we require buttermilk. So let's prepare buttermilk. For that I have added half cup of warm milk in a bowl and half cup of thick curd. Whisk all this really well and allow it to rest for 20 minutes so it curdles nicely. Now in a large bowl add 2 tablespoons of butter and 1 fourth cup of olive oil. Whisk it well using hand whisker. You can use electric beater as well. Add 1 cup of sugar and whisk again until smooth and creamy. Now let's add 2 eggs which are at room temperature. Add one by one and whisk again until all the ingredients are nicely incorporated. The batter looks perfect, smooth and silky. Now for flavoring add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And for that bright red color add one teaspoon of red gel color. Mix the batter well until the color gets nicely dissolved. You can add few extra drops if you want little more brighter cupcakes. At this point of time, add the buttermilk which we have prepared. Using spatula, whisk it. Now time to add the dry ingredients to the wet batter. Now with spatula mix the ingredients well using the cut and fold method. Do not over mix, mix just enough so all the ingredients are well combined. Now take a tray with 12 cupcake molds and line them with cupcake liners. Divide the batter evenly into the molds but make sure you do not overfill the cupcake molds. Once the molds are filled with the batter, tap for 2-3 to three times to level the batter or to release the extra air bubbles and bake for 20 to 25 minutes in preheated oven at 180 degrees. Now to prepare the frosting, that is a cream cheese frosting, you require 100 grams of butter, softened butter, 150 grams of cream cheese, one cup of powdered sugar or icing sugar, for flavor one teaspoon of vanilla essence, and whisk all these ingredients until smooth and creamy. Use the electric beater for better result. 
once you get the stiff peaks the perfect cream cheese frosting is ready once done put the cream cheese into the refrigerator and on the other hand here are the perfectly baked cupcakes once you see that the inserted toothpick comes out clean the cupcakes are done Now place the cupcakes on the rack to cool down completely before you start frosting. Because if you do the frosting at this time, it will melt because of the heat of the cupcakes. Perfect. In lovely color as well. Now place the cupcakes on a tray on which you are going to do the decoration. Now take the cream cheese frosting in a piping bag. and decorate the cupcakes as per your choice wow the cupcake looks yum now last sprinkle the cake crumbs on top so that they look more prettier My kids were just waiting for me to finish the shoot and just pounce on them. Check it out. The cupcake is so moist from inside. Every bite is so delectable. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys like the recipe and give a try. Thank you and see you again.